Hello guys and uh, this is Shiv again. What's happening? Uh, I hope all going fine with you. So I welcome you to the third part of Linux Beginner's Guide uh, Commands uh, series and this is the third one and I don't know I have shown you LS and I have shown you CD. So let's say uh, we do which command I'll say for example I'll try to do two commands this time mkdir is very important so i'll show you how to create a directory and uh, i'll show you another command uh, which is rm remove so let's go and uh, do these two commands pretty fast okay so genome terminal if you uh, we go to genome terminal okay now as usual uh, uh, let's first do rm okay so what rm does RM is remove files or directories. So, um, if you give F, then uh, it forces. We'll see what does it mean actually force. Okay. And uh, uh, I do not think that a lot of commands are very important uh, in this switches, but minus r is very important in this recursive now see here for ls command small r and capital r are different but in case of rm they are the same okay so this is important minus d is important okay and uh, uh, i think that's it uh, there is not a lot of uh, important one in this now we, i had created that ls uh, if you remember uh, from the first part and in the second part i added the file one so you see i'll first show you rm simple rm so i say rm1 now before you hit enter be very 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 careful with rm command because if particularly if you are acting as root if you are using root or you are doing a sudo then you should be utterly careful with an rm command okay because in default configuration it won't even prompt you see gone one is gone there is no more one there is no recycle bin nothing it's just gone now there is something you should be more careful about now if you see x and y are directories okay these are not normal files how do i know these are directories one is by their blue color and second is if you do long listing then the first character would be d for a directory okay now let's say i want to remove directory x okay and i say rmx now it can't remove it's a directory so to removing a directory there is another command which is called rmdir but the problem is as you can read in description it removes only empty directories all right all right so uh, there is a very important one if you notice this which is this switch rmdir minus p a slash b slash c is similar to rmdir a slash b slash c a slash b a okay we'll go into that okay uh, so rmdir x it won't remove it because it is not empty this is where recursive comes into picture if i say rm minus rx i'll delete x and whatever is inside x now we have y which contains two files if i say rm minus r y y gone it won't at all prompt you so rm is very very dangerous uh, command okay be very careful with rm i have destroyed my uh, data like four or five times so many people uh, th what they do is uh, they do an alias in their bash rc file there are many places you can do alias they say you can do this alias in uh, your bash rc when you learn how to edit a file the alias rm to rm minus i 
now I'll again create a directory mkdir uh, say x and then I'll create a, a file inside that x slash one okay so lsx we have one inside x so ls x ls x so when you give uh, a directory as argument to ls it shows you the contents of that directory okay that was missing in the first part all right no problem okay so now uh, we know that uh, we have uh, mkdir okay and we intend to do rm of that so now if i say rm minus r i x it'll tell me descend into directory say now you can say y or n are two options here yes then it'll ask you remove regular empty file we'll say okay I'll remove the directory yeah then it is garner so once again i'll create that um uh, mkdir x uh, touch uh, x slash one now we are back again to here okay now it prompting the for the confirmation can be useful but can be irritating also so now that we have set the interactive mode how do we actually get rid of that okay so we say rm minus r f x it will not prompt to confirm we look at the man page never prompt let's say it shouldn't prompt gone x gone should be very very careful with rm minus rf it's a good habit to actually move the files i'll go into that in my next part for now i'll show you mkdir it creates a directory okay so uh, there are quite a few options but uh, mostly there are two important op uh, options uh, minus m and minus p i mostly create with uh, without any option or with a p option okay mode is not really very useful uh, although it can be useful depending on the situation so let's say you have already seen mkdirx now let's say I want to create a directory Y and inside that a directory Z, inside that directory one. So I will have to do MKDIR Y and then I can do MKDIR Y slash Z, then I can do MKDIR Y slash Z slash one. But instead you can say create parents if they do not exist. Okay. So if you see this, what this command means is make the directory one inside z inside y but the problem is y does not exist and z does not exist inside y so without p it will not create this because there is no y directory okay but if you give minus p option all right then it will create y inside y you have z inside jet you have one okay so uh, one thing uh, I'll tell you to repeat the commands uh, which have been executed in past you can press up arrow and go back by pressing down arrow I have a uh, one video I believe uh, which is Linux uh, console hacks okay I'll add that into this list a bit later when we become a bit advanced all right Th that was a pretty cool video I recorded so uh, uh -huh. so we have seen mkdir and rm commands you should be very very careful with rm command in particular i don't know how many times i'll repeat that but it is so very important for newcomers because uh, uh, on ubuntu you normally use sudo to do things but if you get into habit of doing sudo and then you do rm command then you can land in trouble you can land in real real trouble so be very very careful with rm command all right so uh, i think i will not make this video very long and uh, i think that's it okay so in my next video i will uh, uh, tell you about uh, a bit about permissions and types of files why it is important uh, i'll tell you why it is important to understand the types of file and permissions uh, because without that uh, you will feel uh, it is weird i mean linux is kind of weird if you're coming from windows background 
so uh, i think that would be for now so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video uh, thanks for uh, subscription uh, and if you do subscribe that is uh, watch for my next video i may describe permissions but may not again i don't know if my mood changes i'll do something else all right okay so that would be it uh, see you in the next video guys bye